What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasr from IGM3, where we discuss software engineering by example. Today's topic is mime sniffing. So, mime sniffing or content, also known as content sniffing, is an approach done by the uh, browser in order to identify what kind of content it's being served, right? So if you make a request to a server and the, the browser make a request to a server, like you're downloading an image or you're downloading an HTML file or, or text or CSS or whatever file you're downloading, right? Uh, it usually, the server, the web server, usually returns some metadata about this content that is down uh, is being sent right uh, hey uh, this is an html hey this is a jpeg hey this is a uh, i don't know an application extension right so that's the m i m e which is the multi purpose internet mail exchange terrible name right but uh so the browser relies on this content type in order to see hey oh Mm. Oh, I'm getting an image. Let me preview this image, right? A browser does that. Oh, this is an HTML file. Let me render that HTML file and there's code, JavaScript code. I'm going to go ahead and execute it. Oh, this is an XML. Do this. Oh, this is JSON. Do this. Oh, this is just a binary file, .exe. Let me actually download it. So it, based on the content type, it knows what to do, right? And we will go through that some examples here, right? The mime sniffing or or content sniffing, which is the topic here, is when the server, when the webmasters, when the web administrator is lazy and they did not decide to return those content type as part of their content serving, like uh, they just return the content. The browser doesn't know what's going on, so. Browsers decided to be too clever by half, and hmm, so there's no content type. What should I do? Oh, let me actually sniff the body of that request, right? And by sniffing the body, right, and uh, trying to parse the body, it says, hmm, that looks like a JPEG. Oh, so let me preview that. So Internet Explorer, Explorer started doing that. I think Chrome also doing that with their uh, extensions right and that started to create a lot of trouble so we'll get into that let's jump to our examples guys so that's an example here so we have a browser and we have a server the server I, I have a web server maybe not JS or whatever Apache and there is a pic.jpg there is index.html there's users.json right simple basic and my browser is requesting pic.jpg. Remember guys, we can't rely on the .jpg extension for the browser to identify that, hey, I am actually requesting an image, so I'm expecting an image. No, not really, because you can just literally remove that, right? And the, the browser doesn't really look for a single file. This is an actual execution, right? So that goes to that page and then that path or that route or that route will take you to somewhere else so you return the image uh say, take the request the server says okay i'm gonna return you this pic dot jpeg the actual image and by the way i'm gonna add a header http header saying hey this is an image jpeg right i'm gonna reference all the headers for the http from the wikipedia article for your reference guys but so the browser says, oh, let me look at the content type. The content type looks like an image. So yeah, oh, the image? Oh, let me render it in this box, or let me just preview, open a new file, show it in the whatever, right? So it, it knows what to do because it's an image, because oh, there's always like this code in the browser that, oh, that's an image, do this, right? So, and that's then re reads the image accordingly. If it's an index.html, hey, I'm, I'm loading this index.html, or just like my site get, send a get request, right? And it will start making that request, obviously it doesn't know what it is, but it comes back, same thing. Server says, hey, by the way, this is content type, uh, text.html, and then it will send the HTML text, right? And then the browser says, oh, it's an HTML, let me actually render that, and then show that, and then 
there's JavaScript, let me execute that JavaScript as well, right? Nothing wrong with that, right? What <laughs> some what breaks is in this case, if I am requesting, so let's say I I'm sneaky and I uploaded an HTML file with the malicious JavaScript code that reads, for example, my cookies, the user cookies, and send them to my server, or like it's it, it's it start to parse and and scrub all the pages and my stuff and send send it to some server, right? It does all that kind of stuff, right? It's execute. If something executes, it does stuff on your server, right? So that's my code. I, that's HTML code. But I just renamed it to dead JPEG and then actually upload it to the server and the server was stupid enough to accept it as a JPEG. So what it does is it says, okay, uh, let me upload it. So the browser naively requesting all the images and one of the images says HTML.jpg, thinking it's an image. The server, let's say this, this server now does not actually return any content type, right? The administrator was lazy. They didn't go and set any content type on that stuff, right? So they didn't do anything. So we're going to return the actual content of that, which guess what? It's not actually an image. It's just a bunch of HTML code and there is a JavaScript, bad JS, let's say bad JavaScript code here in the middle, right? Can't spell it. All right, let's assume there is some bad JavaScript here, right? So the browser using mime sniffing, it will decide, hey, I don't have a content type like those guys, right, anymore. So I am going to try to sniff this thing, right? Remember, this is an image, guys, right? It's supposed to be an image, so, but, and instead, the browser is trying to be too clever by half and says, you know what? Oh, it turns out, oh, it's actually an HTML. Wow, let, mm, I found that you have an HTML, sir. Let me go ahead and execute it for you. How about that? And it just bleh. <laughs> executed that and you just got hacked, essentially. Right, that's a cross site re referencing. So that's the security flaw here. So browsers usually is doing, you, if, if you're not doing anything wrong, right? If you're like just executing J JPEG and then the actual JPEG is a JPEG, then that's the browser is actually doing, doing you a favor, right? It's better than failing. Remember before content sniffing, there was if there's no content type, the browser will fail. It says, oh, I can't, uh, I can't load this image because I don't know. That doesn't look like an image, it looks like a text. So it will load a bunch of just garbage on the screen <laughs> for you. So Internet Explorer and other browsers started implementing the sniffing to avoid a problem, which is laziness, right? By, by the administrator to adding those content types, right? Which introduced all this, uh, stuff problems so how to mitigate this problem yeah my videos just got rendered nice so the solution is for the server I imagine like guys you have like millions or oh, millions <laughs> thousands of files you can't just uh, sometimes it's very tedious to go and set the content type correctly on all those files so what you do is you do this he said the browser, hey browsers, guys, don't attempt to sniff anything. Please don't sniff anything. My files, if if it if you can't, if you don't find the content type, go ahead and just fail. Right. Don't don't try to sniff things. Don't don't expose my users, right? So that's what we return. We add one line of code into the every single request. Right, especially of things that we don't we don't really know, uh, like JPEG images or something like that, or HTML file or CSS or styles. Right, you want to add this X content type options no sniff. Right, if the server returns that the browsers, all the browsers now respect that. If it finds that no sniff, 
it will not attempt to sniff. So you opt out essentially of the sniffing. Oh man, I said sniffing so many times, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it. That's it. So that's the mime uh, content sniffing. And uh, how do you avoid uh, the problems, essentially? Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the other content in this channel. Uh, we talk about software engineering, by example, in this channel. We, there's a lot of videos, and uh, I enjoy. I love software engineering. I love programming. So take a look at the channel. Subscribe if you like this video. Like, like this video if you like it. And I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.